Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Hazik and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Mantra and the OM token. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. So we're taking a look at the all-time chart and we can see that from the bottoms of the bear market this thing has done 130x already and it's sitting at a 3.5 billion dollar market cap so i would not expect another 100x from the current stage and anyway buying at these at these peaks is not very smart you do not want to be buying these local tops we were taking some profits on mantra in fact we bought mantra all the way down here at 79 cents if we go to our twitter page which i recommend you guys check out we do some coin updates we do some interesting on-chain data metrics reposts and a lot of different other things that are very useful I recommend you follow our page. If you take a look at one of our most recent posts here about Mantra, I mentioned that we got into Mantra this July at 79 cents and we were up approximately 6x. And this was a call that we had on our Patreon. So we entered over here, 79 cents. We rallied a bit, we retraced, but look at the appreciation. And you know, this is, this is less than six months and you're doing a 6x already. And we did take some profits at two different levels. Uh, we were we managed actually to sell the the local top. If we go to the price action chart, we managed to sell. I sold a pretty significant chunk of my mantra holdings at four dollars and forty cents, which is quite literally this wick over here. So we took our profits right over there. So the bottom. And I'm expecting a retracement at the moment. I'm expecting the price to come back down at least to the 1.272. This would be a healthy retracement at the moment. And of course, anything can happen. We can have another massive pump. We can have a massive announcement from Mantra. And the price could continue pumping until $7.40, which is going to be our 1.618 target in this bull market. We have our Fibonacci retracement set up from the bottom in October 2023, which is crazy when you think about the price that we were sitting at below two cents and the top from March 2021. And that gives us the 1.618 target. So before we get to that 1.618, I would like to see a healthy retracement, at least back to the 20 EMA. If we take a look at the daily RSI, we're absolutely overbought here. So if you were looking to swing trade, if you were looking to take some profits, now is the time to be doing that. Yes, we did retrace a little bit from that area. If we take a look at the very top there, we're down approximately 14.6% from the local top, but still you'd be selling in a very good position, especially if you got in somewhere early on. But this is what the RWA narrative is all about. And I wouldn't necessarily go into a lot of different RWA coins. I think the top ones are the ones that have the most connections and they're the ones that are most likely to succeed. And Mantra is performing extremely well at the moment. Obviously the other one that we have is Ondo and we also have a lower cap one, which is Centrifuge. So this is the daily chart and what I noticed as well is there is a bullish divergence on the weekly that we're going to take a look at in just a second. But just so I can give you a few levels to target, we're going to set up a Fibonacci retracement. Let's see, I don't think we even passed below the 0 0.236 um, at the moment. So we're going to set up this Fibonacci and we're not able to use this Fibonacci technically yet because we haven't broken down below the 0 0.236. So once that happens, this Fibonacci becomes valid and then we can start targeting some uh, levels and you can start taking a look at the 0 0.382, $2.29.5. Also, you could target the 0 0.236 at $2.90. And of course, this $2 range lines up nicely with the 0 0.5 and with the 20 EMA on the daily. So I would say this is going to be a very healthy area to come back down to. It's possible we're going to drop even lower. If you take a look at these previous local tops, so we have this top from October 
And we also have this top here from July 2024. These levels could potentially be retested. I'm not saying we're definitely going to do that, but you have to be ready for something like that to happen. Not everything is going to be playing out very smoothly and not everything is going to be pumping uh, forever. Keep that in mind. We're in a bull market right now. Don't get over bullish. You have to stick to your targets and you have to understand that if you don't sell at a certain point, you're likely going to suffer with everyone else with a 90% of the market that are going to lose their money because they didn't sell, because they were married to their coins, so to speak, and they uh, simply held because they thought the price was going to go higher. Now, I do want to switch to the weekly chart. And before we continue with the video, I want to give a quick shout out to my Patreon. If you're interested in getting more exclusive content, you want to support me as a creator, and you like what you're seeing here on YouTube and you want more, feel free to check out the Patreon. That's definitely a place for you. There's a seven day free trial, which means you can get access to all of my content since the inception of the page. So that means you get podcasts, low cap gems, uh, technical analysis, project reviews, and a whole bunch of other stuff. We try to do posts there on a daily basis. We cover airdrops and a lot of stuff that we don't really cover on YouTube because we don't have as much time. And of course, because patrons get more stuff and more content. And uh, if you're interested in that, the link is down below in the description. Thank you all. Let's continue on with the video. All right, so on the weekly, we have a bullish divergence, like I mentioned. If you take a look at the lower low here on the RSI and you take a look at the price action chart, you can see how this low and this low doesn't really correspond to this low and this low. So on the RSI, we have a lower low. On the price action, we have a higher low. And this is a bullish divergence. And this usually is a setup before a significant move to the upside. So we had a nice bullish divergence on the weekly. We had a nice uptrend over here. Retracement back to the 20 EMA. We bounced off the 20 EMA, which is your bull market support trend line. From there, absolutely exploded. And the 20 EMA going forward is your support for all of your altcoins. Keep in mind, the 20 EMA is going to be a very important level until the end of the bull market because once you start losing that 20 EMA, once you break below it, that is going to be your bear market signal. It's not guaranteed at that point, but that's going to be a very, very strong signal telling you that, hey, we may be approaching a bear market soon. Now we have a bounce over here in June off of the 20 EMA and you have a bounce here uh, towards the latter stages of the summer. Uh, off of the 20 EMA as well. So the 20 EMA is very important on the weekly chart. If we zoom out and we take a look at how the chart looks and we look at the RSI as well, the RSI is extremely overbought. This is an unhealthy position to be getting into a project, guys. If you're thinking about buying Mantra here, I, will, I would not recommend. Of course, I'm not a financial advisor. You can do whatever you want, but I would not be buying Mantra here. I probably am going to be buying back into the project if we have a retracement to around $2. I might refill my bags again and we may ride it all the way back up. But I took out my initial investment and I took out, you know, 100% of that initial investment on top of the initial investment. So I'm sitting in good profit here and whatever I have left is pure profit. So even if it goes to zero, I'm not losing a single cent but I don't think Mantra is going to be going down to zero. I think this is our minimal target during the bull market. $7.40 is, uh, yeah, minimal target. And then we could potentially be looking at 10 and $15 down the line. What I want to do is I want to wait for the next retracement. From there, we'll be able to set up a Fibonacci retracement from that you know, future local bottom, we're going to be able to set up a Fibonacci retracement and see what our targets are to the upside. Let me know what are your thoughts on Mantra. Let me know if you have been entering throughout the bear market. Let me know if you are on our Patreon and you got into Mantra as well. Make sure to check out our Patreon, guys. Seven day free trial. You can get access to all of these low caps and all of these coins that we're trading. We had so many good entries throughout the bear market and even right now, and we're sharing Lots of gems, lots of AI gems. I'm about to drop another AI agent gem on our Patreon, so stay tuned. Thank you all for watching. Stay safe and goodbye.